Hey everyone, this is a clip from a recent episode of Another Pass, where we talk about movies and all the struggles that go into making them. If you like it, check out the whole podcast. You can find it at certainpov.com or wherever you get your podcasts. I, I think we need to like frame this discussion because yeah. like, there's so many like weird <laughs> things. And also, like it is also a movie where like not really that much actually happens. Right. It, like it was the other sort of weird part. So let's talk about like how they got around the whole no Charlton Heston thing. Uh, like they didn't have Taylor, so they introduced Brent. Uh, so we get James Franciscus playing basically like what everyone calls sort of like your like dollar store version yeah. of Charlton Heston, <laughs> like being a character who looks so much like him thrust into such a similar role riding around with Nova. Like it's, it, you know, we're, we're going to play out a bunch of those same beats and I don't know what you would do necessarily because I think that the, like the perception was like, okay, well we need a human from the 20th century, like, to be the audience surrogate in this situation and we don't have Charlton Heston to be this character how do we kind of go through that all and it's like all right sure it is weird that they chose to have like someone who is so I know close looking yeah (laughs) I know it's so weird it's just so weird and like his delivery is not exact right Mm. like it's not like he's like super Heston but like there are some lines where it's just like you could tell they were like uh you know we need this to be a little we needed this to be a little Heston. So it was, right. mm, it's weird. It's weird. It, that's why. And I feel bad because no one deserves to be called the dollar store of Charlton <laughs> Heston. Yeah. Like no one deserves that. And and he certainly did not deserve that. But that is still partially because he looks just so much like him. Like if they had just gone with someone that looked a li- slightly differently, maybe it would have been, maybe maybe he'd be just a stand-in right. instead of a dollar store version. Yeah, <laughs> because when it was, when it like when the movie was like losing me the most is because like the first half of the movie is just, Let's do the last movie again, but kind of worse. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, it's just they got to do it kind of worse. Yeah, because because they got to do it faster so they can do the rest of the movie afterwards. And also, we've seen it already. Um, when it did work was when he was for me was when he was doing like different reactions to things. Like because we have the scene when he go like when he's in the subway and like also having the first revelation that oh this is Earth. And it it is a like it's a redundant scene. It kind of has to be. We've had this moment already, but I like I enjoyed his take on it. He played it, you know, understated. He played it like as just you know you you could tell him reflecting on the state yeah. of the world when yeah. he left, you know, and just kind of doing the God, we finally did it, didn't we? Like it just I liked his different take on it, and I feel like if you let him do more of that, it would have the first half of the movie would have been less exhausting. And if you got a guy that didn't look like Charlton Heston and let at least him react differently than Charlton Heston to things, it would have felt less just excruciatingly slow to just watch a dollar store movie of the first movie again. (laughs) Right. Yeah. And it's, and it it made more excruciating because you're basically repeating it. And that's like, I mean, it's like 50 minutes before you actually get to, to the music. And this is not a long movie. All of these movies are not notoriously short films. So, I've basically been going through like the beats that I already went through uh-huh. in the first movie, but faster, like truncated, so that I can get to the second half, which is actually really the second movie. Right. The because it's actually yeah. a different movie, right? Um, but now I really like only have about 40 minutes to explore whatever themes are going to be introduced in this half that that will make things different. Um, and and it's really interesting too. And it's also interesting that like there's like in this first half of the film, there's just the assumptions. And again, this is partially because they are trying to remind everyone what's happening and also because they're trying to, and a lot of sequels have this issue where they're trying to kind of relive the glory of the first. And, but like the fact that Brent's reactions fall in similar line with kind of what's happening in the first like humans are different (laughs) like people would have different reactions like and and there are certain things that he just accepts like right away like he's just like yeah okay well that that's what's happening you know like and you could say well he's an astronaut he's adaptive no no there 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 needs to be a little more pushback and i understand that we have a limit of time but then maybe like have him get to that forbidden zone a little bit sooner. You know, have him hunted by the gorillas a little bit sooner. Have Nova have a little more agency and maybe she saves him. I mean, <laughs> just throwing things yeah. out there, you know, like just because someone is mute doesn't mean they don't have 
the capability. Right. And I thought they were going to, when I, when it first started, I thought they were going to deliberately do a little more of that because we have his, his skipper's dying scene at the beginning. And the skipper has a moment of like, kind of actually starting to grapple with the scale of time that just happened. You know, he has like, Oh God, everyone I know is dead. Everything's gone. Everything's, he has a, and there wasn't, and there wasn't a lot of that in the first movie. They, that was that was a thing that they just kind of accepted and moved and moved on with, and so it's like, okay, cool. So are we just at least getting a different perspective on this experience, and kind of, but not really. 